is another uh, very worrying issue that's been going on for years, as you say, the abuse that MPs uh, across the House receive. Do you think a more generous, as we say, we don't know the precise details, but uh, do you think a more generous payoff or some sort of certainty or help for MPs who lose their seats, getting new jobs might help attract um, people into Parliament in the way Kezia said and retain them? I think possibly around getting some help for what comes next yeah. uh, and climatising again to other jobs or training for that. But I think looking at rather than looking at the end of the process, you need to look more at the beginning of the process. Mm -hmm. How you actually attract the Westminster still feels very distant to lots of people. You know, when I was growing up, there weren't many people who looked like me in senior jobs in Westminster. Now we have a British Asian Prime Minister for the first time. Things like that do really matter because you feel that you have a place, you don't feel imposter syndrome. So looking at the beginning of the process, how you're attracting wider groups of people to something that they may read about or watch on the TV but don't really understand, I think is more important than what happens at the end when you leave. Tracy? 